Hey, folks. Hey, -o. Well, we haven't got a map this week, have we? All alone. <laughs> Without our shepherd. Quick, Max, put on your best Matt impersonation. <laughs> I can't do an American accent and you don't want me to try. <laughs> well, oh, no, I want you to try. <laughs> Speaking of people who can do a fantastic American accent, Rob has joined the meeting. Not American, Canadian. It appears, Max, that you're going to be the one leading the meeting as the most senior member of the team. So let's give it a minute for uh, Dan or, or uh, Dennis to arrive before I take on that mantle. Otherwise, by the look of the um, agenda, Matt's, Matt's done all the work for this meeting already. This is going to be one of these moments where the teacher asks you to sit in silence and read this block of text while you go have a fag around the back. Metaphorically, <laughs> <laughs> you could be right. Let's give him another minute and then we can run through the things Matt's given us. I've already forgotten when we say like walk through the milestone plan, which tags are we looking at on our board? Like next step or like 13.3 or? So it'll be 13.2 that we go through 13.2, okay. The current one. Uh, yeah. I'll post the issue in chat. All right. Looks like it's me then. Uh, I'll go through Matt's agenda. Um, so yeah, it looks like we're pinging Jeremy for any PM related questions while he's not here. Um, I think he's off all week. And it'd be worth bringing him up to speed to anything that Matt would otherwise need. Uh, Austin or Daniel, looks like you're next. Yeah, so I was talking with Daniel and Matt last week. Um, Daniel's going to try and focus more on access. He feels comfortable with me picking up more of the compliance work now. So my only ask to those two are there's still things that are probably sliding by me because I'm missing some historical context of where things are in the pipeline of getting things done and built. So if you notice that there's something slipping past me, just let me know and I'll jump on it. Great, thank you. Um, next, he's mentioned using Fridays as refinement days. Um, I don't know if anyone's got any thoughts on that, whether or not we should do that. Mixed bag for me, that one. Mixed bag. Would you yeah, like to elaborate? Normally, yeah, normally um, Fridays for me are mad rush. Um, Oh God, there's loads of things I haven't done this week that I need to get done. I better do it now. Otherwise, it's never going to get done come Monday. So <laughs> me doing it on a Friday is probably the worst probable situation for me. Fair enough. I, and, my, hello, Dan. My thoughts on that are the same, I think. Um, I think trying to squeeze it all in one day could be a mistake. Just because like a couple of the issues we've looked at this sprint, sprint, milestone, sorry, old job. Um, uh, yeah, we've been discussing it over a matter of weeks, let alone days. So yeah, that might be an interesting one to discuss. Dan, would you like to take over as leader of the meeting? <laughs> sure. Hello, everybody. Sorry to be late. I'm having like just a series of technical issues this morning. My, my little mouse here is just not wanting to work, for example. Uh, so Bear with me, please. But uh, yeah, we can go ahead and kick this thing off. So this is the uh, July 13th Compliance Weekly. And uh, so Matt is on PTO all week long. So uh, it looks like we can just voice over 
a bunch of his points here because this is most of the agenda or his points. So thank you, Matt, if you uh, ever watch this. <laughs> we, um, we covered the first three. Oh, you did? Um, Wonderful. Yes, one to number four. All right, wow. I was, I was only three minutes late. Y'all were moving fast. Cool. Um, Mondays are rough because of a ton of calls, uh, says Matt. Um, actually, so are mine. I don't know if anyone else feels that way. How would everyone feel about moving this meeting to Tuesdays instead? Ah, so um, uh, Daniel Mora had talked about this as well, I think. Um, for me, that's a problem because the analytics weekly is at this time on Tuesdays. Um, but just out of curiosity, how is, you know, uh, Mondays for everybody? Is like, is this time painful for anybody else? Maybe you raise your hand if it's, it's painful for you. Okay, Aish. Yeah, I have to wake up early, so, but <laughs> I'm okay if uh, this works the best for everyone. Yeah, it's right smack bang in the middle of the working day in the UK. So like a little bit later from my point of view is fine. Yeah, an hour later is fine for me. I mean, if we moved it to Tuesdays from a front end perspective, we have our um, front end um, department meeting at three o'clock on Tuesday. So we wouldn't be able to do any later anyway. Cool. John, how is this time for you? Uh, yeah, I'm easy either way. It's close to the end of the day for me. But yeah, if, if we were to move this to a similar time slot later in the week, it wouldn't affect me much. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, and Austin, I'm assuming you're fairly flexible, like from this time forward. Yeah, I think my thing was, this is the first thing I kind of hit Monday morning. So it's like I spend the first hour like, okay, what was I doing on Friday or Thursday or whatever last day I was in the office? Um, but uh, yeah, I could do whatever everybody else okay. feels like is what's best for them. Okay, cool. Uh, okay. So it seems like this time in terms of all of the different time zones involved is pretty close to being right. So maybe if we couldn't do Tuesday, maybe we could do Wednesday. Um, but it, also seems like maybe we shouldn't move it. So let's, let's, uh, let's talk to Matt and see if maybe, uh, maybe he can move around some of his other stuff. I don't know. Yeah, half the battle is, uh, you know, uh, you and Matt having the most meetings out of all of us. We've probably got like four meetings in our calendar for the whole week, whereas that's just Monday for you. <laughs> so it's more down to you two if it's a real struggle for you both. Um, then we can we can obviously adapt to suit you. Cool, fair enough. Uh, I'll uh, I'll chat with Matt about that, and then he and I can come up with a plan. I'll put that on my to do list here. Cool. And next item. Uh, voicing over from Matt, I feel like I can't say it enough, but thanks to everyone for being so collaborative, diligent, and kind. It's hard for me to take extended vacations for a litany of reasons, but one of those is feeling like I have to be here to not create a bottleneck for you all. This isn't based on anything rational. It's just a sense of obligation I place on myself because you've all proven time and again, we're all sharing the load and doing it wonderfully. I feel comfortable taking a full week off because I know you will all carry the group forward and make all the right decisions. Thanks for giving me peace of mind. That's cool. And I have to say, I totally second that. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, yeah, I, I totally second that. This group is just awesome. We just, we keep rolling smoothly uh, thanks to all of the hard work that you all do. So thank you all for, uh, for your diligence and your strategic thinking and your, uh, you know, just totally staying on top of everything. Thank you so much. Uh, cool. Well, Honestly, I don't really have anything to add to this agenda. So, uh, you know, we could, we could call it or if there are any, uh, you know, social matters to attend to here, we could uh, address any of those. Rob's face. Would... Like, there, there you go. There he is. <laughs> I, I was just going to ask whether we needed to walk through the board at all if, or if there's any issues anyone wanted to particularly raise. 
it's actually probably a good idea to go ahead and walk the board. I mean, we're, we are in the final week of the milestone here, so it's actually maybe even more than just a good idea. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Thank you for pointing that out. All right, so we've got our compliance board, which I am now applying a milestone to. We're in the final week of 13.2. All right. And there's our P1. All right. Uh, so Aish, how are we doing on the project soft elite setting? Yeah, so I have two merge requests open for this, um, one of it which handles um, the behavior of project soft delete, that is we default to um, deleting it immediately and letting groups configure it, um, you know, whether they want it, uh, whether they want the projects to be delayed after a, a certain period of time. Uh, so that is one merge request, it's just uh, waiting on a backend maintainer review. Um, and after this, uh, the other merge request that I have is to just change the text um, in the delete modal as well as uh, in the delete section that we have in project settings. Um, so the second merge request is not, um, uh, it's pretty straightforward. It's a simple change. So I'm hoping it to make it to 13.2. Um, yeah. So we still have this week, right? Yes, until the end of this week. Okay. Okay. So I've just started the review process on Friday for uh, the second merge request. The first one, I'm hoping that it should get uh, merged, like hopefully today. So the maintainer had some concerns on what exactly are we changing. So there was a couple of back and forth in that. But um, yeah, hopefully in, by today or tomorrow, we should get the first merge request reviewed, uh, I mean merged. And the second one, uh, yeah, I've started the review process. So since it's a pretty straightforward changes, text changes, and it removes a feature flag, I'm hoping that it shouldn't be a problem either. Cool, that sounds great. And actually, while we're on the topic of the, the modal, I don't see the scarier modal issue here on the board, but I just wanted to bring it up. I know I created a bunch of like confusion around this modal, sorry again. Uh, are there any outstanding remaining questions about that project delete modal? Okay, just want to check. Uh, cool. So moving over here to the P2 column, highlighting expired SSH and PAT credentials in the credential inventory. Looks like Rob, you might have an update for us. Yeah, so this is um, done. Um, I was trying to get staging admin credentials so I could t confirm it's working. Um, that's still with IT as an access request. So if anyone has admin staging credentials that I can either pair with them or send me, that'd be amazing. So I could just double check because by this point, it's probably on gitlab.com, which brings me slight concern that I can't access admin at the minute to test this out. As soon as I've been able to verify it, um, this can be closed. So I was just verifying something with Tan the other day and gave myself admin permission on the staging instance. So maybe you and I can do a, a quick pairing session after this call. Yeah, that'd be amazing. It should only take five minutes at most. Cool. Awesome. Let's do it. Uh, let's see. And then Aish looks like you have the next one for allowing admins and owners to make PAT expiration enforcement optional. Yeah, uh, so this has been merged. Uh, the cool. only thing that's remaining is the verification part. But again, we won't be able to verify it on gitlab.com because I don't think we'll ever enable the setting, um, right. the optional enforcement. Uh, so I was wondering how do we test it? Because even testing it like would, uh, because the notification would start showing up only seven days before the uh, token is going to expire. So we can test it out on staging, but it would at least take us like 10 days for it to verify, unless we can tweak it in the backend. Yeah, good question. Um, so if this is, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. If this is only for uh, self-hosted, self-managed, um, maybe, you know, really maybe we can just have someone else 
test it in their local instance. And I'm happy to do that. So let's, let's treat that as another action for me. I'll go ahead and verify on my local host and then we're good to go. Okay, that sounds cool. good. Awesome. Uh, and then Rob, looks like you got the next one for us. Yay. Uh, so this one I've started working on was a bit delayed because um, the table grid layout, the new compliance dashboard table grid layout stuff um, took quite a while with maintainer approval. Um, there's some UX questions which I've raised and uh, Austin is currently responding to um, in his time when he's available. Um, so in terms of that, not sure if I'll get it out for this release, um, but it'll be very close towards the follow the start of the following week, I'd assume, um, just because it's not in review yet. And I don't want to say that it will be reviewed amazingly quickly. Yeah, fair enough. Especially this being the final week of the release, uh, reviewers are always jammed up and everything. So it's probably smart. Cool. P3, P4, all right. Um, so we have some other stuff without priority labels over here, some refactoring from TAN. Um, and I guess, um, is there anything else? Like, so anything that has a priority label is our highest priority stuff, generally speaking. Is there anything else we should chat about here? Like, does anyone want to call out anything they think is going to miss? I th so think, uh, oh, sorry, go on. Go on, okay. Sean. Go ahead, Max. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Uh, yeah, just the um, various refactoring MRs I've got open for different um, audit event fields that we're refactoring out of the details hash. Um, I think it's unlikely that all of them will get merged before Friday um, because they're all quite interdependent and all linked, trying to get all of them reviewed and maintainer reviewed um, in the correct order so I can get them in uh, is proving tricky. So yeah, I'm just spending my days at the moment just trying to push them through as quickly as I can. But I think the likelihood of all of them being merged by Friday is probably quite low. Okay, makes sense. Well, I was just gonna say um, that on the updating the project delete model to make it more scary. Um, first of all, yeah, I should have, I guess, switched back to drinking coffee instead of tea because <laughs> I misunderstood some of the some of the threads in that. Um, but yeah, thanks for for clearing that up. Um, just an update there, the MR to refactor that to use a view component in preparation for uh, adding our new layouts. But that is currently in review today. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed that gets merged and then we'll have to see about getting the actual changes merged. Um, if anything, there should be an MR, whether it's open or merged by the, by the end of this week for that. Cool, that's good news. Is there anything else that anybody wanted to cover here? Uh, actually, I had a question for the scary model. Uh, uh, so since both of us are making changes to it, um, I feel your code would eventually override mine, but I just want to verify that uh, because the changes that I'm making is just to the Haml files. Uh, so are you also making to the Haml files or is it the view files? So the changes that I'm making should, at the moment, they should just uh, be able to go in without any conflicts um, because the, the change I'm making to is to the modal itself. So I, I think your changes are just affecting the actual setting text. And then what I'm working on is the confirmation modal. So just replacing that button that then links to the modal. Uh, so that should slot in without any issues. Okay. Actually, I should we take a look real quick at your uh, MR? Sure. Uh, yeah. Cool. Oh, 14. Wow. 
Uh, let's see, where's the file? Oh, John, you've, you've already reviewed this, so we're good to go then. Sorry, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm behind the curve here. Once again, y'all are way ahead of me. Oh, even I didn't realize, I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> you received the email notification for the merge request. I've, st I've stopped receiving it for the past three days probably. That's probably the reason that I didn't realize the merge request has been reviewed. Oh, that's strange. Yeah. Yeah, maybe some setting, I'll probably figure it out. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I don't know what that could be. That's very strange. Um, cool, okay. Well, I think that covers uh, walking the board here. Is there anything else that uh, I have not thought of that we should do? Okay, cool. Well, uh, I hope everybody has a, a great end of release week here and uh, you know, hope you all have a great rest of your day as well. Thanks everybody. Ciao. Bye.